Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the Pi Guitar is back to change the world. Here we have the main Pi Guitar analog switchboard. Here we have the lead driving board. Here we have some auxiliary boards and the hardware debouncing board. And here we have a big power supply which we're going to turn on. And nothing will happen because it's just uh, turned on. And then we're going to connect it to the PC where we have our emulator, HMI emulator available. And now we're going to start up the emulator and see what happens. Okay, let's go back. Okay, here we are. We're at the processing Python interface. And it all fails. Error opening. Oh, there we go. It had a hard, the, the, uh, the ACM0 port was not available. And here we have all the LEDs, just like in the emulator. Isn't that unbelievable? Now watch what happens as I change the settings with the emulator. It corresponds. It's unbelievable, is it not? It's just unbelievable. It all works. See that? How those LEDs change? Same here. We're in tracking mode. See that? Let's go out of tracking mode. And we'll go in absolute value mode. See how clicking, clicking everywhere changes the values. And now, isn't that cool? It's just absolutely unbelievable. It is, it's, it's beyond unbelievable. It is truly unbelievable. Okay, those things are not connected yet, but here we have the tone range. So let's look at tone range, that's down here. What happens if we take it to zero? There we go, tone range is zero. Tone range is one. Tone range is two. Tone range is three. Three, that's two LEDs. Tone range is four. And tone range is five. Unbelievable, huh? That is just astounding positive result. Thank you all. Here we have the panorama of my world. The dining room table, a bunch of circuits, a mock-up guitar, and the PC running the mock-up HMI. So what we see here is these yellow and green LEDs are actually these yellow and green LEDs. They're the same. These are the real ones. Those are the emulated ones. And this here, if it would focus, is the configuration that's actually set up. So we have A and B in series and C and D in series and the, the those in parallel. We have full volume and full tone on everywhere and a full tone range. If we reduce the tone range, we get a slightly different tone. We can play with the trackball. And we find out that when we're at full volume, there's a problem. There's some kind of buzzing sound. I don't know exactly why. We can turn the tone down here. We're in absolute mode. Turn the tone all the way down on every one using absolute mode, and we should get a much more muffled sound. And if we increase the tone, quite a few sounds and that was just a quick example of how the whole thing works and it's a pretty pretty good pretty good there's a little bit of noise but it's pretty good thanks